Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Perlmutter from Quantum Listing, and thank you for joining us today for our webinar. We have Eva Baska from Build Out, and she is going to be sharing with us lots of great information about Build Out's brokerage tools. Uh, before we get started, I want to be sure I thank our wonderful sponsor, the News Funnel. Uh, the News Funnel is an incredible resource for the commercial real estate industry. They aggregate news from hundreds of different commercial real estate sites, and they deliver it to your inbox. Uh, they will also deliver it to you to uh, on your website, which is a great way to get uh, people engaged with your website so they can come and check the news every day. And they have lots of other wonderful services. But... We're here today to talk about Build Out, but let me tell you about Eva. Eva is the Director of Marketing at Build Out, a technology company specializing in commercial real estate brokerage software. She has been with Build Out for five years, focusing on building the Build Out brand and promoting its growing product base. I was lucky enough to meet Eva shortly after she joined, I guess. Uh, she was introduced to me by the wonderful Linda Day Harrison. Uh, and uh, Eva and Build Out and the Broker List coordinate every year on the DNA of CRE survey, which uh, if you haven't taken it uh, in the past, make sure you do next year when it rolls around. It's an incredible resource for the industry too and lets you benchmark yourself against your peers. Uh, so, welcome, Eva. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today, and thank you to everybody who is watching, uh, because we know your time is your stock in trade, and uh, we're very grateful that you are sharing some of that with us today. Eva. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, David, and, and Quantum Listings for having us. I'm excited to show you everything that Build Out does. All right. Uh, do you want to uh, take away, uh, let's I guess, you, tell us a little bit about Build Out in general and then uh, launch? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we, so for those of you that don't know what Build Out does is, um, I'll give you a little bit of a background. And I think we were um, hoping to maybe do a poll in the middle or, or sometime in, in the beginning to figure out what the crowd is, do you have build out, do you not, what are you looking for, just so I can craft some of the um, demo and what I'm gonna show you um, specifically to the audience today. So we'll get to that in a second, but um, for those of you that don't know build out, uh, we are a technology company that specializes in commercial real estate brokerage tools. It's very specific to all of you. Um, and for the last 10 years, we've been perfecting and supporting the marketing function of brokerages. So the tool that you probably know build out from is our marketing tool that automates and streamlines all of the marketing that you need to do for your listings. So uh, document creation, putting your listings on your websites, email marketing, um, syndication, which is why we're here. Uh, if you need to post your listings on third-party listing sites or marketplaces like Quantum Listings, we can basically automate that for you um, and other features. And all of um, the big differentiator here is that all of these things are built in your brand. So you can basically streamline all of your marketing for your listings through build out in your specific brokerage brand. Now, that is our core marketing product. Uh, in September of last year, so just a few months ago, we launched our second product called Build Out Elite, which is a full kind of end-to-end -end brokerage solution. We added kind of two more components to the marketing piece. So if marketing sits in the middle, because that's where your um, listings happen, that's when you go on market. We added a database or like a CRM component to the beginning where you can prospect and store all of your data um, and do all of the CRM activities. Marketing sits in the middle and we also added a project management tool on top of that so you can uh, manage all of your listings, you can track leads, you can do activities on top of your listings. And then we also added a back office 
commission tracking tool. So really kind of the full end-to-end -end solution for your deals. So that's probably what we'll be talking about the most today. All right, excellent. So I do have on the uh, screen now the poll which you just referenced. Uh, and if everybody can just uh, vote on this poll by typing in the chat box, uh, which you can access by clicking on the speech bubble, uh, it will help us uh, you know, tailor today's presentation to our crowd. So uh, everybody, quickly, quickly, Type in mm. one, two, three, or four, and uh, let us know where you stand. Okay. And also, just out of curiosity, uh, while you're typing something in the chat box, let us know where everybody is from and what your role is in the commercial real estate industry. That's always fun info. If we're a syndication partner of Build Out, does that count as, uh, uh, I guess that'll be number five. <laughs> That's true, right. If there are partners on here, <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. You never know who's gonna pop in there. Right? That's true. All right. Looks like a lot of great Build Out customers. Let me uh, lose the screen again. There we go. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. It does look like um, three kind of was the winner besides David <laughs> and Pradeep. Um, and so we will be, um, I'll focus first on our elite product so that all the people that are already on our marketing product don't have to sit through a full marketing demo. Um, and then at the end, I will show just a brief piece of the marketing um, part. So whoever hasn't seen that before, you can see that. So. I will share my screen. Any other questions before I begin? I think we're ready for you. Awesome. And I'm actually gonna stop sharing my video because I'm gonna look at a different screen. So we'll just end there. All right. So um, this is Build Out Elite, um, which is basically, like I mentioned, um, a, a full suite of products for your brokerage. You have your database or your CRM, so the typical things that go into your CRM, like properties, contacts, companies, comps database, and all the you know things that go into that. We have your marketing or your projects. This is where you would store your listings. Um, we've added a tenant rep or a buyer rep component, component with assignments, so if you have any of those deals that you wanna track in your pipeline, um, you can track that with assignments. We have obviously everything that we normally do with marketing, with docs, email, and things like that. And then we have um, Pipeline, which is a pipeline tool that shows you all of your deals. We'll get into all of these. And then the back office tool where you have vouchers, which is your transaction history, your deposits, payables, receivables, and all the things you need to kind of run your brokerage, back office, and commission tracking. So I'm going to start with a database in the properties database because that's usually where um, a lot of brokers spend their time is, is, you know, surveying the market and doing a lot of prospecting. So here we have the typical search things that we would do. Um, you know, you can group properties into any groups that you would like to group. So if you have like a, you know, retail buildings in Chicago that you want to group together or a specific zip code that you want to group together, um, you can do that and kind of have really quick uh, folders to click through. Um, you have your typical search by property type, if there's any specific things that you want to search by, any availability, all the typical things that we do. Similar search across contacts, um, companies, and, and typical uh, database things. I'm going to go into one of our properties to kind of show you what a property looks like in um, in the CRM. So again, pretty standard things. You would have all the information about a property. Um, here you would see if there are any active listings. So here's where we're starting to tie together the rest of the system, like the pipeline part and the marketing part. 
Um, and here you can store all of the activity that has to do with the property. So maybe you had a tour of the property, maybe there's a proposal out to an owner, maybe you've made some calls to um, people, so you can track all of that against the property in addition to all the other um, contact records and things like that that you can also store too. You can have your comps, any tenancy that tenants that have been in the building, any historicals, um, and obviously your contacts. Here's where you can, you know, have all these different people associated with this specific property. I'm going to go into Richard Marsh to kind of show you the contact part. Um, so this is a contact property or contact uh, record. Again, similar to everything you've seen in the past, just typical information, email, phone, um, Here's where you would track your activity. So if you have any notes, any tasks that you wanna have, if you wanna follow up with a call or remind yourself to do a call, you can schedule that task here and then do a reminder. Um, we have a whole task management system that I'll get into in a second. Um, if you wanna write any notes, Richard likes whiskey, um, you can save them and all of that is tracked below here in our activities. And I was having internet issues, there we go. All right, so we have all of our activities being tracked here. You can see all the properties that he is associated with and what his relation to that property is. He's the owner landlord. Um, we have a bunch of different relations that you can choose per, um, per contact. And are there any active projects or deals that uh, this contact is associated with? Um, one other thing that I wanted to call out is this tags field over here. This is where it allows you to really customize how you segment some of these people or if there's anything that you want it to add that's personal. So um, it's another way that you can build lists. So for instance, you know that um, Richard likes whiskey. We just discussed that. So you can add that tag. He also likes um, buildings that are 5,000 square feet. So you can add these tags and now um, these tags are actually searchable in your contact database. So if we go to our contacts, this is the list of contacts that you have. Again, similar idea with the properties. You can group them in any way that you want. You can um, search by contact type. So if you're looking for any specific investors or maybe you know, you're know you looking for a buyer agent, you can um, filter by all of these things. And then here is where you can filter by tags. So we just added the whiskey tag. So I can see that we have whiskey and let's see how many people like whiskey. So we have a group of six-ish, yes, six contacts that like whiskey. And now what you can do is select this whole group and then go into here and create tasks or reminders or things for these people. So for example, you can now select all these people and say, hey, come hol holiday season, I'm gonna send them a whiskey. So you can create all of these tasks here um, and then those will be in your task management section. The other cool thing that you can do from this contact view is um, once you kind of develop the list that you want to go after, so I'm gonna look at all of our landowners, you have a lot of power. Um, this is when the actual CRM actionable pieces come in. So I'm selecting all of these contacts and what I wanna do is I actually want to create a call list. So um, I'm gonna call this Blake's Industrial Park, which is the um, property we were just looking at. I wanna do this call list by this Friday at 2 p.m. I do wanna remind myself one day before, and then I'm gonna create this call list. This then, I can go to the call list called Blake's Industrial Park, takes me to our call list function. So again, if you are prospecting and you have a specific um, property type you're trying to go after or specific owners or anything like that, you can um, select and basically start, oh, I'm gonna stop this call list, and um, select all these people and start calling down the list. What's really cool about our call list feature, as you saw this little pop-up here, um, it's a little sticky slider, we call it. This is where you can literally have all the information you need about this person, um, including the tags we just discussed, what company they're from, what's their role, any specific notes, any requirements that they have, 
Um, here are all the properties that they are related to. And again, are they an owner? Are they a tenant? Are they a broker? What, what is their relation to that property? And any recent activities that you had with this person. So there might be notes in here that say, oh, actually call me back in a week. I need to discuss XYZ proposal. Um, so now you have everything in one view to basically go through this call list really quickly. So what you can do is press call and then this will actually call your cell phone and um, and then you're starting conversation. So you're connected to Adam Freeman and now you're speaking to him, hello, hello. Now you're ending your call. Press that twice. And now once you're done with your call, you can start adding whatever this activity was. So now you can start some notes here, talked about the proposal, need to set up a meeting, right? And then you want to create a follow-up task. I'm going to email him tomorrow to set up the meeting. Now I'm going to complete my current task and I, a follow-up task has been created. And now next call, next person pops up. Now we're going to talk to Sandra Stevens. Um, she's from Northeast Capital, so on and so forth. You get the picture there. So really cool feature to kind of um, go through your prospecting or um, you know reaching out to people really quickly. And then lastly here, I'll show you the tasks like I mentioned. Um, so this is where you can kind of go back and see an aggregate view of all the things that you've created, all the people that we have to um, reach out to if there's any specific things that you need to do for a listing, like do I need to go take photos? Do I need to go sign a listing agreement? Um, here are all of your tasks. Obviously, this is an overwhelming um, list, but you can filter what's due today, what's due tomorrow. You can filter by who it's assigned to um, or who created the task, if that's helpful. So here are some just cool um, ways to get really organized and efficient with your data. Um, let's go back to our property. And we're going to go back to, actually, I wonder if it's open already. Here we go. So another um, great power of this tool is that, again, it's connected to your marketing and it's connected to your back office. So if um, I decided I spoke with the owner, Richard Marsh, and turns out he wants to see a proposal, I go back to my property view and with one click, I can create a new project or a proposal. So this is in a proposal setting. I'm gonna save myself as the um, primary broker. Here is all that information that's already filled out from your database. All the necessary things, already pictures, if you've had them in the database, you can do that. Um, and then you save the property. And now this takes us to our other newest feature, which is a project management view. So this is now, um, so for all of you that have build out marketing, you probably know the um, this screen where it shows you all of your listings, which ones are on market, which ones are closed, which ones are in proposal, under contract, so on and so forth. And normally you would click into these listings and then you would have all of your marketing features. Now these listings click in and you have your workspace. So this is where you would have all the things you need in order to do your listing, right? So you can create all of your follow-up tasks. Turns out I need to email this person or reach out to this lead or create this brochure. You can start assigning all these tasks to different people. Um, you can add collaborators on each project or deal. So I'm the broker on this and my dog Brad Charles is actually um, a collaborator. So you can add your admins or marketing staff as collaborators. If you have another broker on here, you can add them and they will be the only ones that see this um, <coughs> view. Um, and so other cool things in here are obviously all the details that you need for this project and this property. Um, any of the availability or the listings are already listed here. Um, all of the leads that come in from the different um, channels. So if 
you have this on your website with our plugin, all those plugin leads will filter into here. Um, you could also import any leads. So if you have any from quantum listings or any other listing sites, you can import them and kind of have them all in here. There are different statuses for these leads. So um, press the wrong button. Um, so you can see that probably you created a call list for all these people to follow up. This person actually, Helen, wanted to give an offer. So there was um, an offer given and you can save and kind of change all the statuses there, um, so on and so forth. So this is where you kind of do all of your listing and project management. Um, and then this is actually also where your marketing lives. So as you can see, all the people that have our marketing product, these are all the same tabs that we have um, in our other product, but now it is all kind of condensed and put into one project. So you can really run your whole listing in one view. Um, you know, you have your documents, you're sharing for your website, your actual website, any emails or syndication partners, all the great things that we have in our um, marketing is now in this view. The last thing I'll show you here is actually our client report. Um, this is a really cool new feature and some of you might have owner's reports in the um, marketing tool. And what this does is basically aggregates all of the activities and all of basically the status of your listing and you can share this status with your client or owner. Um, so basically what this does is it, it shows you all of the leads, how many leads are in which um, kind of funnel what is the website traffic from your plugin? What are the activities like, you know, how many calls have you logged? How many emails have been sent? How, how are your email campaigns doing? Um, and all of this is viewable and interactive. Th this link you can send to your clients and then this the client can see, oh cool, I have, you know, 1,700 doc downloads and seven leads and one offer. And this is dynamic and updates. Now, obviously you might wanna control the narrative and not show everything. Maybe you just listed um, the, the listing on your website. So you wanna take off website traffic because um, you don't have any website traffic yet. So all of these little boxes you can check and then it basically um, gets updated in this link. So now the website traffic is gone. You could also create custom tiles like this one is, you know, anything you want to add any pictures into or write anything specific, you can add all of these into it. Just really quickly back into this client version of it. They could also expand it and actually see the details of everything. So they can see that Helen made an offer on what date, what is their last activity that was associated with this person. So a lot of really cool details to kind of showcase the work you're doing for this listing. So now I'm gonna go and jump into our actual deal. So for this instance, we have a um, one space for lease, uh, space 310, 4,000 square feet. Um, this is our actual deal. So here we can um, update our predictions or this is kind of where that back office deal management component comes in. What is our actual deal? What is the transaction value? What's our gross commission? Who's the broker? How many, um, what's the percentage of the you know, commission? We can do dollar amount, percentage, all the things you need to know about the actual deal. And then this will get updated in your pipeline view. Another great view um, for brokers and the brokerage principles, this really allows you to see how many deals you have in your pipeline. Um, and the total commissions that you have on those deals. Um, and then these are all the actual listings that you have. Um, what's cool is that you can basically drag and drop these into different statuses. So this is kind of your, let's say, control center for all the deals. You can see in a glimpse what the percentage um, likelihood of close is. You can see what the dollar amount is, uh, what is the actual property, what stage is it in. And really quickly, you can um, update and close this deal. So when you close a deal, this is where we start going into the back office component. 
Um, so with the closed deal, you get another pop-up, you can update all of these, you know, specifics of what actually happened on the deal, you save, and now you have the opportunity to go into the back office um, component. This is um, really quickly, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the voucher. Voucher is what we call basically a commission sheet or a transaction sheet. This is where we have all the information. Um, and actually this one is approved. So let me go to a different voucher just to show you a pending voucher. Um, again, all this information is pulled from the actual deal. So you don't have to enter the information again. You don't have to submit any spreadsheets to your back office people, to your ops people. This is where you would add a payer. So who's your payer? Mark Garcia is actually going to, um, to be our payer here. What's his number? Are there any receivables? So we're, you know, hoping to get the receivable on the third. Um, any payables? Here's where you would add an outside commission. So again, who was the um, other broker on the deal? Let's go with Mark again, even though he's the payer. Um, what percentage of the deal did he get? Automatically gets calculated. Any deductions you need to add? I want to do a marketing deduction. Um, and it was $100 for some printing. And then you want to add um, your commission. So this is commissions for Blake Charles. And another cool feature is that you can set commission plans or tiered plans for your brokers all so it's automatically calculated for you so let me just show you that really quickly um, um checklists back office so this is where you can basically set up all the tiers that you have right they each each broker probably has a different negotiated tier you can set all of these up and then they, that will automatically populate into this field so you don't have to do any calculations so on my Blake's plan I'm in tier three so I'm going to get 70 percent of the deal then you save and approve and then you're done and so then this is when basically this becomes an official deal in your system. Um, you can go and track all the deposits that come in. So let's say a new check comes in and um, you don't know who it's from. And actually it is from Mark Garcia. So now you can see that um, how many deals Mark was a part of. And then you can find the exact listing that um, this check could be for. So some really cool time saving things. Lastly, reports, um, we have a bunch of different reports, your commission reports, inventory, um, payables, pipeline reporting. So all the reports that you might need for the whole system, great place to, again, um, run your brokerage out of. So that is Build Out Elite in a very quick 20 minute <laughs> um, presentation. And I would love to take some questions right now about this product before we move in to different sections. That was great. Uh, and wow, really impressive uh, technology. Um, I had a couple of questions. So while we're waiting for our uh, other friends on the uh, webinar to come up with questions, which they can do by ask by unmuting or putting in the chat box, uh, I have uh, a couple. So. Uh, in the beginning, you're showing the uh, contacts. So are those able to be imported or do they have to be uh, manually added? Great question, yes. We will do an import for all of your data. If you already have a CRM, um, like an app door, client look, or something else, you can just export all of that data and then we can import it into the system. Great, so that's a lot of time saved there. Uh, what yeah. about uh, document templates? Do you uh, uh, provide templates? Does the user add their own templates? How does, or some sort of combination of the two? Yeah, absolutely. We didn't get into the marketing piece. You're totally right. So I didn't mention any of this, but basically um, the way that build out works is that we build the templates for you in your brand through our setup process. So we have a whole implementation process once you sign the contract where you're going to be with our project managers and we can to an extent, pixel by pixel, replicate your brand into the documents. So I can show that in a second. I have to just change accounts. So I can show kind of the flexibility of all the branding that you can do. But separately, what's really cool is I actually didn't show this. Um, but what you can do is 
you can create an invoice um, depending on, like if you wanna invoice this John Ball, you can create invoice and it's automatically created for you, again, based off of all the back office information of the deal. And this is again, branded to your brokerage. So you can have beautiful, documents which is you know again the core of what we're really good at and what we believe in is that you know every broker and brokerage out there should have beautiful marketing to help sell these products and um, these properties um so this is yet another way that you can implement your branding into some of the things that you produce excellent uh we have a question from gary amanoff of keller williams in inglewood i hope i pronounce your name correctly, Gary. Uh, and he would like to know, what is the cost of Build Out Elite? Great question. So if you have Build Out already, which I think if you're from KW Commercial, you do have Build Out Marketing, then the upgrade to Build Out Elite is $90 per broker. Um, and you're already well, KW has a different deal, but um, there is a platform fee on top of that, which is basically one um, fee of $250 per month per company. So that is just um, a fee to basically have your brand in the system to get the setup process going. Um, so that fee is is per company and then the actual licenses is $90 per broker. Uh, per month. Per month, thank okay. you. Great. Uh, and uh, Julia wants to know, uh, first of all, <laughs> this is very cool which it is. Uh, and what are the next steps if someone wants to upgrade from the marketing to elite? That's a great question. The fastest way for you to get in touch with someone is just, just to go to our website and fill out the contact us form because there's a whole team of people that want to talk to you immediately. So um, so the best way is to just, just go to buildout.com. Um, I can show it right now on my screen and just press get in touch and then ask for um, pricing and then submit the form and someone will get in touch with you immediately. Great. Maybe not immediately. I want to give them some breathing room, but <laughs> soon. Uh, so um, another question, uh, uh, obviously this is very sophisticated technology. I mean, it does look relatively intuitive, but there's a lot to learn. So mm -hmm. what is the uh, onboarding process if somebody signs up for marketing and or elite? Absolutely. So um, there's there's definitely training and that onboarding process, like we mentioned. If you are not a current marketing customer, we're going to start with that because there's a whole slew of branding work that you have to do. We have to incorporate all of your listings onto your website. We have to build email templates and documents and things like that which is um, a standard setup of like four to six weeks um, where we basically build out all of your branding and all of your listings into the system. If you are a current build out customer, you're gonna go straight into the build out elite onboarding where you will have an, a dedicated project manager who will basically teach you all of these things, how to use it, what are the different nuances, what are all the features, how do I click this, where do I go? Um, so there will be training provided to everyone. Great. Um, so, uh, so basically, if I want to, and all my contacts, somebody from the team is going to sort of hold my hand as uh, I get to. Yes, it. So, absolutely. That's crazy. We have a number of check-in calls after two. We basically try to give you an overview that's much better than what I just gave you, but um, an overview of the system, and then we want you to go and play with it, right? The whole idea is to get in there because you're not gonna learn just by looking at it, you have to start using it. Um, once your data is in, you're free to start using it, start calling, start prospecting, start doing your marketing, start closing out deals and tracking your commissions. Um, and so once you start getting into it, that's when we'll have a lot more calls afterwards to answer specific questions. Uh, do you have any um, sort of uh, anecdotal evidence or testimonials from uh, Build Out Elite customers that you'd like to share with us about you know, how it is, uh, you know, affected their process? Great question. I don't, but I can make one up and say that they love it. <laughs> Oh, what's not to love as they say what's not to love it's fantastic um actually if there's not any more 
questions about this. I do want to get to um, to the other tool just in case. I know there's a few people that don't have the other tool. And I also want to show how to connect to quantum listings. Yeah. That's kind of the point of this. So I'm going to um, pause my screen for just a second and then switch over to a different account. All right, does everyone see this new screen with the different tiles of listings? Uh, I see a lot of listings, property inventory. Great. Great. So this is um, our marketing product. This is our first original product that we released. This is the one that people know, especially if you have it. This is kind of your inventory of listings. This is your off market. Um, and then when you click into one of these lists tabs that we saw in the elite platform in that projects workspace view, this is just a different view of it because again, it's just marketing. So it's just centered around all the things that you need to market for the listing. Um, one of the cool things about build out, and I should have said this at the beginning, um, was that we fundamentally believe once data should never have to be entered again. What that means is if you have all your property information, once it's online, you created a system that basically automates all of that data for you. So this is the property edit form, which is where you basically put in all of that listing information like we were talking about before. If there's um, if there's any sale information, if this is a for lease, any space information, here are your financials. You can put in your financials, your rent rolls, um, anything like that, your performas. This is where you would upload all of your media. Again, if you have elite, all of that is already being taken in from the database and put it into these listings. But once you save this, all that information is then automated and populates the rest of your marketing. So with one click, you can create your documents and then all that information just automatically gets put into your documents. With one click, you can create a website. Literally, it's just automatically created for you. So if I go in here, I can show you a quick website. Um, this is again your brand. So this would be your website, your logo, your colors, everything would be matched to your website. And then this website was created with one click. Right, you have all the information you just had. Here are the photos that we were looking at. Here's a map view. Any documents um, that you want to upload to the website can be viewed here. Emails, similar idea. Again, if you want to email this um, this listing to all the investors of industrial, with one click, this email gets formed. Um, again, in your brand, editable. You can do whatever you want in line. You can. Um, decide what content to turn on and off. So if you don't want that first picture, you can turn the picture off, just have a headline, website buttons, video buttons, anything else you want to do to kind of automate that um, and quickly build your um, emails. And then there's also syndication, which I will get into right now. So if you have um, listings and uh, accounts on listing sites like quantum listing, this is where it would be connected. So let me quickly show you how to connect a listing site to your account. So if you are a broker or an admin, you can do this for your brokers, or if you are a broker, you can do it for yourself. You would go into your profile, and this is where all of your information lives. And then you would go into the syndication tab, and you would find, this is a list of all of our syndication partners, you would find quantum listings. And if you already have an account with quantum listings, all you do is press connect account, type in your username and password, and press connect account. That is all you have to do to connect to quantum listings. Now you are syndicating with quantum listings. Let's say you didn't have an account, you can still go to this syndication page in your profile settings and go to, oh, now I have it disconnected, to a, um, to sign up here and a sign up page for quantum listings will show up. I'll disconnect this account so I can show you that again. Um, so in quantum listings, I could press sign up here and our sign up page shows up. You create your username, your password, 
and then you type it in, come back here, connect account, and we're done. Now what that does is once you connect a syndication partner, all of the properties that you have listed as I want to syndicate this listing will automatically get syndicated. So in order to do that is I go back to my example that we've been in the whole time. So I'm in my Deer Path offices um, listing and I go back to um, edit this property. Here is where I decide if I want to connect this property to my listing sites. So this is where I would connect the syndication. Now all of these, uh, all this listing will show up on Quantum Listings as well as other partners. And then the last thing I'll show you about syndication is we take our precautions so that um, everyone is safe against any lawsuits. Um, so if you have picked Kate, you have to come in here and click syndicate. What this means is that basically you have the right to publish these photos on third party sites, or in other words, you own these photos. If you are using Coast them on third part, party listing sites because Coaster doesn't like that. So you would go in here, you would click all of these buttons for whichever photos you want, you would save the property. And just like that, this property now lives in the quantum listings world. Um, it's not in here. This is an account. Um, either way, this is a demo account. We actually paused all of our um, we don't syndicate any of our demo accounts because of the fake data. We don't want to populate your listing sites with that, but this is where you would see the quantum listing um, channel. Yes. So and that's you, syndication. Yeah, let me just add that when you update your data on Build Out, uh, it gets updated in real time on quantum listing and any other syndication partners as well. Exactly. And that's, again, that power of having digital data and not having to do it anywhere else again. Right. So what you would do if there was some sort of change in maybe a price, you had to lower the price or maybe you up the price. Who knows? Um, you would go back into the property edit form and you would make that change in here. Sale price. Right. So I'm actually going to change this to 540. Now I save the property. This price is now updated in all of your marketing again. It gets sent to the syndication partners, it gets updated in your documents, it gets updated in any future emails that you send. Everything basically gets updated because it is a digital format and we wanna automate that information. Any questions about syndication before I just, for the last like two minutes, run by documents? Well, right. questions. Let me uh, just suggest that uh, people who do use the build out marketing uh, really owe it to themselves to visit the sites to which you're syndicating from and for a couple of reasons. One, to uh, if there are things that you can do to enhance your profile, like add a mm -hmm. profile picture or add social media or your company website. Uh, those need to be done manually on each of the syndication partners. And you also, when you're adding new listings, uh, ought to visit just to make sure that the listing images are syndicating properly. So Exactly. This is actually from a different um, account. This is our Chris Crisco account. Um, thank you, Julia, for sending this over. So again, that listing will automatically get pushed to quantum listings. You could come in here and look at it. You can see all of the description, all the sales description, all the property overviews, any pictures that you had, um, all of that automatically pushed to quantum listings. Yeah. So thank you for sending that. Good job there, Julia. Yeah. All right. I also turned off my video because I know I'm having audio issues, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so lastly, I'm just going to show you our documents. Again, this is kind of the power of build out and where we really um, provide a lot of value to our customers. Um, so this is a sale listing and I want to create a sale brochure. So with one click, I will then go into the document editor mode. And this is where in one click, these listings get created for you with that information that we entered in the property listing form. 
this um, branding is again built in partnership with build out during your setup process. So all of this can look completely different in any way, shape or form that you would like. Um, this is just, you know, our demo branding. Um, but these docs have a lot of uh, flexibility. So you can configure this however you would like. You can have a main image, you can have one photo, two photo, a map, a retailer map, a small photo, a big photo. You can have left content on the left side. You can put, you know, what the available spaces are. This is a for sale, so it probably doesn't have any. Um, yep. And then uh, what the right content should look like. Maybe it's a photo. So there's a ton of different ways that you can customize this any way you want. You could also um, type in in line. I will say once you type something in and change it in the document, it does break the connection from that property edit form. So this will be kind of a static document now and will not be able to be updated. So if there's anything that you want to update in terms of words, um, do that in the property edit form so that you're not breaking that, that automation connection. And then the last thing I'll show you is a retailer map because it's a really great feature that a lot of our customers like. Um, edit map. So this is where you can build all of your aerial maps, your retailer maps. Basically, here is the property that is, um, here's the listing. And then you can drop in all of the other things around the area. Um, you can customize this map however you would like. You can go in and actually create it as a hybrid. You could go in and, and draw um, a box around it. You can type on it, say, this is the property. Um, shopping center. Um, and you have a ton of different um, opportunities to edit this however you would like. So if you want to change the color or, um, you know, you can do anything you want, press save. And then this map gets automatically put into your documents. So with that, those are our documents. Hopefully they're quick and easy to use. We have a couple other features, but I won't bore you with all the details. I'd love to take some more questions. Um, yeah, yeah I mean, that's it. It's uh, when I'm looking at the quantum listing site, it's always very obvious uh, to me, at least, which uh, members are using build out because they've got you know beautiful pictures and supporting materials, uh, and it all looks so professional and clean, and uh, really is. Uh, you know, uh, nice to have that. And the other thing that you know, is really valuable to us is the fact that everything gets updated in real time. And, uh, you know, for the people who are visiting the website, they can have a high degree of confidence that they're not seeing stale information because uh, people go and they build, you know, fix and build out and they don't have to worry about updating, you know, five different syndication sites. Mm -hmm. it happens it's really makes things uh, very very easy for for the build out users so uh -huh. yeah th i would say that's definitely a really big benefit of using our um tool is that connection between all of your um deliverables because um it is that automatic connection. So if you ever do have an update, it gets literally updated everywhere. On your website, it gets updated in your emails, it gets updated in your documents. So there is that really great connection that you don't have to worry about forgetting about a place um, to update that. So thank you for that. I have a question. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Um, my name is Greg Wood with Keller Williams, and I was just wondering, this might sound like a dumb question, but right now I'm currently, I came from California over here to Arizona, and they do things a little differently, and we're using Client Look, mm -hmm. and we're also using Build Out. So if I understand you correctly, I'm able to not, this is, I could almost incorporate Client Look into Build Out and not have to use Client Look anymore, is that correct? So our new, yes, so 
obviously this is a different platform and it is a different product. So you would have to buy build out elite. Um, but okay. in it is a replacement of your other CRMs. That is correct. Now, as you probably know, uh, we have what's called command mm -hmm. in Keller Williams. It's another CRM platform and it, it's works really well under the residential, but they really haven't got the commercial of it, end of it completed. So it leaves us with three or four different platforms we're having to jump around with. Um, mm -hmm. So if I could use this instead of client look, I would just uh, actually only have two platforms I have to deal with, command yeah. and build out. Yes. Is that what and you see also? Yes. So Keller Williams commercial is a little bit unique. Um, of course, <laughs> uh -huh. we all have build out that the marketing platform um, as part of your fee, right? You everyone at KW Commercial gets build out marketing with their um, license or with their franchise fee. Um, that is not the case for Elite. So we are currently working with corporate to basically figure out if there's an opportunity to give a lead to all of the commercial KW commercial brokers or agents. Um, right now, that is not a possibility. We are aware of command. Um, and I know that we are working with the um, basically corporate to figure out how do those things work together. The one thing I will say about Build Out Elite, you do need your whole office on the platform, which again, I know is a little bit complicated with KW because you guys have marketplaces um, and not necessarily a whole company that's on commercial or doing commercial brokerage. So there are a little bit of complex complexities with how this um, tool is built and how you can buy it. But I would definitely reach out to one of our sales reps because they have all those details for you. Okay, I'll do that. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Good. Anybody else want to ask a question? Hi, Eva. Yeah, thank you for your presentation. Good job. Yeah, uh, this is Daniel Chen from SVN, HPW Commercial in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, two questions over here. So for such kind of training, in, uh, are, we, are we able to uh, schedule one-on-one? -on -one? My, my, my company is a client. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I already have an account, uh, but I don't know whether we can schedule some uh, session that we can ask some questions yeah that's a great question um you do have build that elite you actually don't have build that elite you have a different product that's specific to svn um but you can reach out to support at buildout.com and have a request we do um since again we offered this product to all of svn um there is a different way that we do training and onboarding um and so we do provide uh, help center articles, videos. I think there are webinars on like training webinars that you can attend, or at least we're planning them right now. So if you re just reach out to support at buildout.com, I could ch chat, chat it in there, um, then you can ask that question and they'll direct you to the right people. Yeah, the thing is, you know, uh, I used to create some documents, just as you, you show, show me, yeah, those kind of documents. And then you know, uh, I didn't I didn't log in for this uh, build out. Uh, uh, six months later, I found that yeah, all the documents disappear. And then I tried to reach out to the support, and then but they are not able to find it for me either. So I just don't know yeah how yeah because I I, I hope that I can get somebody to help me on those kind of documents because I spent a lot of time to create those documents previously yeah, and then I want to edit something. Mm -hmm. I I uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I I can take down your name and I can reach out to support with your specific problem. I definitely can't help you right okay. now. I don't know the exact answer. There's probably, you know, a bug or something that happened. Um, okay. So I, I can definitely take that note down and reach out to support for you and they can um, get back to you. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, my name is uh, Daniel. Yep. D-A-N-R-E-L and then last name Chun. C H E N G. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my 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 email is just D A N R E L dot Chun C H E N G at S V N dot com. Perfect. And Thank you have you. missing documents. Uh, yeah, the other question is that yeah, you know, for the 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 uh, this kind of CRM, just you presented, it seems really cool. So is that only uh, for each 
project, yeah, for each uh, listing, then we can have the those kind of context to be um, uh, related to, to be, um, how to say, to co corresponding to this listing or this kind of CIM once it's created, then uh, the contact can reach all those kind of listings. Um, I'm not exactly sure. The So basically, with at SVN, you have all of the features that I showed today mm -hmm. already. So um, you can basically start using that platform, build all of your contacts, all of your properties, do the project management, your marketing, and the back office tool. All of that is already in your um, SVN account. And so okay. if, uh, to follow up on that, so if say I add a contact in regard to the Deer Path offices, and then I want to market that property to the uh, another one of my listings that contact is now available for me to market it to my other listings also correct exactly so yeah that's kind of the power of being able to have contacts attached to your marketing is that you can basically attach those contacts to any of the listings that you want if it's a lead for one of the listings you now have all that information in that contact record if it's actually an owner for that property all of that information is in that one contact record whatever they're interested in whatever they own if they're a lead if they're you know anything all that information is all tied together so for such for such contact can we export then we can import it to uh, gmail or we can import the G, uh, google contact over here i mean yes both ways you can do imports from if you have like a gmail contacts iphone contacts wherever you can export contacts you can import that into build out but can we export from uh, from build, build out? out that's a good question i'm not exactly sure probably but again a good support question hmm okay okay yeah, that would be very important thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Uh, uh julia wants to know if you have in the next you know, three minutes, uh, any highlights <laughs> in the DNA of CRE that you want to share or somewhere you want to point us for those results? Yeah, so you can go to, thank you so much. I love all the DNA plugs. Um, we appreciate it. So you can go to dnaofcre.com or .buildout.com. Um, I can post that in here. And um, this is an annual survey that Buildout and the broker list put together. And it's basically honestly at this point like 50 questions about brokers and like almost 100 questions about marketers and what it does is it basically benchmarks you um for that year and we ask questions about like what technology do you use how much commissions did you make it's anonymous so don't worry about that um which property type did you sell or lease the most of um how how do you do your prospecting what's the most effective marketing um thing that you do so there's a lot of cool insights in here so you can go in here and then basically click any of these um reports so you can look at the broker results fill out um this form and then you can access the results and it gives you basically a a pretty big um download of the um the actual report we put together for 2020. You could also see an appendix, which is kind of cool. This appendix just basically summarizes all the information really quickly in just a, um, you know, graph form. Whereas the actual PDF is, um, you know, really nicely designed. It's more like a report. You can see all the different um, information that we got out of the, the surveys there. Um uh, one other question I had, uh, if you are a the marketing director for an office with, say, 20 agents, uh, is the marketing director able to control the agent's account from a single login, or do they have to go to each uh, agent's account? Single login. That's correct. Great question. Yes. So they can, um, admins are always free on our accounts. So you don't have to pay for an extra admin license. So admins, and of course you have to verify and you have to have the right permission sets. Not, you know, not everyone can be an admin. Um, you don't want to be an admin if you're a broker because, you know, there, there might be like proposals or listings that you don't want to share with the rest of 
um, your brokerage. So admins do have the ability to kind of um, do things for the brokers. So they can add things to the database. They can create call lists for the broker if they actually want that. They can obviously do all the marketing for every listing or proposal, um, so on and so forth. So the admins do have kind of access to everything. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Eva, for your time. And thank you to everybody who uh, took some time out of their day uh, to spend with us. And uh, also thank you to Julia from our team for helping coordinate all this. It's uh, much more work than you would expect. And uh, you know, Eva, it's always great having you uh, participate with these. You do a beautiful job. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, I hope everybody stays well and continues to uh, see progress in their uh, cities and towns where they live. And, uh, you know, let's all make some deals. In Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate the platform. Oh, and if people Thank you. want to get in touch with you, what do they do? Buildout.com and fill out the contact us form. Or specifically with me, you can email me at eva Basca, no, that's not it. Eva at buildout.com. I said that wrong. I was thinking about something else. I just typed it into the chat. Okay. That is, an, and you should follow uh, Buildout at Buildout Inc. on Twitter. On Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram, wherever you'd like. All right. Thank you again, everybody. Uh, we'll see Thank you next time. You've been Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.